Hey everyone! Today we're going to be talking about the five mistakes that I see the most when it comes to DIY product photography. Let's get started. So today we're talking about the five mistakes that I see the most when it comes to handmade sellers DIYing their own product photos. Now I don't want this to be discouraging to you or make it seem like I'm being a negative Nelly about the whole thing, but knowing where you're going wrong is the first step in fixing it. So have a look at these next five things that I see as huge mistakes and think to yourself, is this something that I do? Because that's the first step in making your photos awesome. Here we go. Number one, your lighting is all wrong. So what happens with lighting is that what I see is people are either going way too dark or way too bright. When your photos are underexposed, that means that the photo is not bright enough. There could be some strong shadowing and things like that that just doesn't generally look super great or very professional. And on the flip side of that, you have photos that are super, super bright with blown out highlights. There's like white spots on your photo and you're losing detail that's really important when you're taking product photos. One of those two things tends to happen. What you can do is, first of all, avoid direct light because that is often the cause of very, very bright highlights that look terrible. So you wanna avoid light that comes directly from a flash or from the sun. Uh, you always wanna make sure that you're in the shade or the light is being diffused in some way. I recommend to start setting up a desk or a table next to a bright window in your home without direct sunlight coming through, setting your product up there and start taking photos and see how they look. Hopefully it'll be bright enough. You might have to play around and try a few different windows to find ones that are going to be just the right amount of light, but you can do it. I have total faith in you. Messed up styling. So what I see with styling is people either have a lot of different props in one shot because they're not really sure which ones to use or the props are all wrong and just a bad fit for their product or their brand. You wanna keep it simple with no more than one or two props. And those props should make sense for your product and they should make sense for your brand. For example, if your business is all about being eco-friendly and your customers really value the environment, you want to make sure you're not using props that are maybe um, plastic or, you know, whatever process was made to create them is harmful for the environment because that would be a turnoff for your customers. And that's the last thing you want. Your props should be wonderful supporting characters for your products, not distract from them by being too mess, too many and too messy. Um, but you want them to be the perfect complement for your product because that's going to make your customers even more compelled to buy your awesome stuff. Bad composition. Composition is the way the shot is set up. Kind of the angle that you use, where in the shot your product lands, and just the general overall setup of your photo. So some of the things that I see that are problematic is the angle. Sometimes I see things taking at a strange angle that kind of distorts your product. It makes it look a little bit uh, misrepresented in your product photos, which is bad. I always recommend starting by either photographing at eye level, so straight on, or uh, what we call a flat lay, which would be your bird's eye view. So shooting straight down on something that's laying flat. Which of those you choose really depends on your product. Some products aren't appropriate for flat lays like mugs or glasses because hopefully those aren't lying flat uh, because that means that your stuff has spilled out. So you just need to think, does this make sense for my product? And then you can go ahead and give it a shot and see how it goes. Try different things to see what works, but generally speaking, try to keep those angles fairly straight on so that your product uh, doesn't look distorted or weird. The other thing that I see with bad composition is I will often see things in the background that really shouldn't be there, like power outlets, for example, or maybe a trash can or uh, a bag or something like that. Just something that you didn't notice when you were taking the photos and maybe you noticed them afterwards and thought, I'll use the photo anyway, or maybe you didn't notice them at all, but customers might. So before you take those photos, do a quick scan, make sure that there's nothing in the area that is going to distract from your product or take away from it in, in any way, you want the surrounding areas and background to complement your product, but not distract your customers. The other thing I see, one quick one before we move on to number four, is 
when part of the product is cut off on the side by accident. I'm not talking the intentional photos of maybe you're doing like a close up of a detail, but if you're trying to get the entirety of your product in a shot and there's just a little bit cut off on one side or something like that, that's a big no-no as well. Make sure that the entirety of your product is shown in the photo without it being cut off by the edges. Now, number four, you're not editing your photos. I know that editing can be a really big scary thing for some people, but it's really not that bad. You have to remember that when you're taking a photo with a digital camera, it needs to go through some sort of process. The same way we used to take film photos and send them off to the, be developed, that development process was like editing your photo. This day and age with our digital cameras, that doesn't happen as much uh, because people feel like I don't have to edit because it comes right out of my camera. However, when it comes to product photography, you have to keep in mind that your camera is simply a machine. It's a piece of equipment and not capable of making decisions about how you want your photo to look. Cameras are limited in terms of the range of tones that they can capture in an image. So sometimes they need a little help with editing, which is where you and your editing skills come in. If you're feeling not so skillful with editing yet, Hopefully you will eventually. It's something to keep in mind and a goal that you should have because really if you want professional looking product photos that are gonna sell your stuff, you gotta get on board with the editing at least a little bit. You're over editing your photos. Okay, I know you're probably thinking, oh gosh, Amy, you just said to edit my photos and now you're saying you're editing them too much. What do you want from me? I understand. But what I see when people are over editing their photos is actually, I'm gonna go out and say even worse than not editing at all. Because what happens is they're doing things like increasing the contrast too much or saturating the colors too much. And it's misrepresenting their product because it looks either more colorful than it's going to be, or it could even be distorting the colors because of the editing process. And it generally speaking, beyond all that just gives a really unprofessional overall impression of your photo and you really want those photos to look as though they were taken by a professional as much as possible even if they're not and that's why I teach product photography <laughs> to handmade sellers because that's what I want for you so you need to edit your photos but you have to do it tastefully you have to do it carefully and that it can be done in a very, very simple and easy process. If you're unsure about your photos and you're not really sure if it is a good photo or if it's not, go ahead and grab my free product photography quality checklist. What that does is just a PDF. You can print it off or you can just look at it on your computer or your phone. Just scan over it and think, does my photo check all of these boxes? And if it does, congrats, you've got a photo that's ready to be uploaded to your product listing. <laughs> okay, so you can go ahead and grab that in the description below this video. And don't forget to tune in next Tuesday. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe so that you get a notification when the new video is up and we'll see you then.